G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of Biggest Kev's Gold Prospecting. Um, today I'm going to melt some gold, all my fine gold that I've got. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do a, a gold melt. So I'll just show you what I've got here, and I'll weigh it up. I'll just I'll bring these in a bit closer so you can see what's going on here. I'll just pour this gold out. I'll put new um, new batteries in the scales. So last time I used these scales, of, yeah, the uh, weights were alternating up and down all over the all over the place. So. I'll, Tear that off, back to zero. Oh no! Don't tell me we've got dramas again. That's better. All right, pour me gold on. There is a bit of um, bit of contaminants in there, a bit of black sand. But when I when I melt it, I'll put a bit of borax in with the melt, and it'll take that out. Okay, 1.27 grams is what we got. I'll just bring these in and show you. One point two six, one point two five. Oh no, it's doing the same thing as, as before. So one point two five, we'll go with that. And there's all my gold. Okay, guys, I'll get back to you when I'm when I've set up my furnace. Okay, this is my crucible I'm going to use to uh, melt the gold. It was that size. I cut it down because it's too big. So I cut it down and I'm just using the bottom part of the crucible. That's all I need. Rightio, so here's my gold. Put it all into the centre. All I'm going to do is melt it down and hopefully it just it'll form a bead it'll melt it melt itself down into a bead and sit in the bottom of the crucible that's my plan so I'll just tap it down so it sits in the middle I'm going to put a bit of borax not a lot just a little bit of borax on top just to help with the melt there that's it that's all I need and the borax will actually um, collect all the impurities that's it that's all ready to go all I've got to do now is fire up my fire up my uh, my furnace I'll get my furnace going and then I'll put the crucible in the furnace and melt the gold okay I'll get back to you Okay, we'll just let the uh, furnace warm up and the crucible warm up and then I'll increase the, the air um, and increase the gas and, until the gold melts. Thank you. 
there's my bead of gold. I've just got to clean it up and then I'll weigh it and see how much we lost. I'll get back to you guys. Hope you can see that. Okay guys, let's see what we've got. See what we got out of that. There's my little little bit of gold. Rightio, she's zeroed. Ah, 0.75 of a gram we got. I'll just give you a close up look. Point seven three it is now. Yeah. So there's our, our bit of gold. I'll just bring it over here. There's our gold. Point seven two. Yeah, so I've lost um well it was one point two five. So I've lost about um half a gram, roughly. Yeah. But um, what I'm going to do next, I've got some, a lot of sand in, in this um, sample, but there is some fine gold in here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to smelt this sand. I'm going to use my little gold bead as a, uh, as a uh, collector, collector metal. And hopefully I'll improve the weight of this button at the end of it. So that's what I'm going to do next anyway. So stay tuned guys. Okay, here's that um, material. I'll mix it up with some borax. So I'm going to pour that into my crucible. My gold bead that weighed 0 0.73, 0 0.73 of a gram. That's going in there. I'll put that in the furnace. I'll melt it all down, and then um, we'll see what we get at the end. Okay, guys, I'll be back. Okay guys, I'll just wait for that bead to uh, cool down and then I'll um, tip it out. We'll have a big blob of, um, of uh, slag and I'll smash the slag and the bead should be inside the slag. Okay, there's the bead of slag. Nice and shiny. Nice red colour. Right, so I'm going to hit it with a hammer break it open and I should have a bead of gold inside fingers crossed uh oh uh oh that's not looking good guys where's my gold oh uh, okay re-smelt I've lost my gold. Where is it gone? My gold. 
Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Okay, I've got to re-smelt it, guys. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, unless it's in the bottom of the um, of the crucible. Anyway, I'll get back to you once I know what's what's going on here. Okay, guys, I'm re-smelting that um, all that slag because um, I don't know where my gold's gone. I think. It looks like the gold's gone into small particles and um, it's all mixed in with the slag. So I'm re-smelting the slag and um, when I poured it the first time, I saw the gold. When I was pouring, I saw the gold um, pouring out of the crucible into the um, mould, but it's obviously the gold's gone into the slag for whatever reason. So what I'm going to do this time, I'll... I'll um, smelt it again like I'm doing now and then I'll just shut the, the furnace off and I'll let all the slag cool down in the crucible and then I'm going to break the crucible up I'll lose that crucible but that's all right I usually only get um, one or two smelts out of one out of a crucible they usually start to crack so um, yeah that's what I'm going to do this time around and uh, hopefully that gold will be sitting in the bottom of the crucible in a bead. Okay guys, I'll get back to you. Okay guys, the crucible's cooled down. I'll give it a crack with a hammer and see if we've got a bead of gold inside it. Okay, we got a bead. We got a bead. Um, it's dark in colour, so I might have to put it in some acid to clean it up. And uh, yeah, it's heavy, so it must be the gold. Anyway, I'll clean it up in some acid, guys, and um, and I'll get back to you. Okay guys, finished the smelt, cleaned up the, um, the little uh, bead of gold that we got. Um, I've weighed it, I know what it is, but I'll just show you guys what, what, what I got out of all that smelting. Um, the second smelt, when I added that, uh, that sand with fine gold in it, I picked up 0.1 of a gram, so yeah, out of that sand. and. Um, if you think you know where the gold went after that first smelt when I couldn't find the gold, all I had was a button of slag and there was no gold in it. Um, where do you think it went? Yeah, so I, I, I think I know where it, where it ended up, but just let me know in, your com in the comments where you think that gold was. Was it in fine particles in that slag? Because I put all the slag back in and re-melted re it all. Um, but then the second time I just left everything settled in the bottom of the crucible and I just cracked it open and, and I got me bead that way. But um, yeah, just let me know what you think guys. Then I'm sure I was making mistakes. Yeah. Okay, anyway. I'll get this around here. I'll just, um, I'll zoom you in. So you can see what's happening here. Right oh. There's my little bead. Where are you? There you are. There it is guys. There's my little bead of gold. Yeah. Okay. Turn the scales on. She's on zero. 0 0.8, 0.82, and oh, that's going to 0.80, or oh, 0.80, we'll make it 0.80, so here, 0 
O Rams. So I picked up I picked up an extra um, 0.07 of a gram just by doing that second smelt. Yeah, so uh, so that's all cool. Now it's gone up to 0.81. Yeah, 0 0.8, 0 0.80. That'll do. Near enough. Going back to 0 0.80 again. Yeah, but it's got new batteries in it in the scale, so it's all good. Yeah, so. Oh, just something else I want to show you guys. Look what I got. Check it out. Can you see that there? Oh, I've got to, sorry, I've got to back it out. That's why it's blurry. Check out my new stickers. Biggest Kev. I got them for me uh, guitar picks. Yeah, cool. Anyway guys, um, I hope you got something out of that, uh, I'm still learning all the time, I mean I've done a few smelts, um, but I'm always experimenting and trying different methods. I don't like to use lead to as a um, collector metal, I've seen it on videos, then you've got to go and um, do, it, do a, another um, thing with it with the little cupels, you've got to cupel the lead out to get the gold back that I'm not into that sort of stuff, I'd rather get the gold, that's why I use that that gold that I got after I melted all that fine gold and got that little bead, that's why I use that as a collector metal, rather than use lead and that, um, yeah I'd rather just get the gold bead rather than mess around with cupelling lead it's not my thing yeah, anyway um, thanks for watching guys and yeah, if you know where I went wrong, or if I can do it better, just leave a, a comment for me. Yeah, cheers, I appreciate it. Um, thanks for subscribing and watching my videos. Cheers, guys. And uh, take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.